So welcome back. In the last video, we have talked about uh, session management. So we have created a page which is HTML in which I'm typing a name. So the name was Navin. So if I click on this button, OK. So that name, which is in T1 here, so it is in this text field T1, it goes to this uh, this servlet. We are, we are able to fetch that data because it is a request object. Now what I want to do is I want to call the second servlet and to call the second servlet we have two ways. One you can use is request dispatcher and the second way is you can use response. So I'm this time I'm using this response object to, to send uh, send redirect to second servlet. So what happens the response goes to client and then client sends a request to second servlet automatically. Client doesn't have to do any event for that. Okay so now we are able to call this. And in this servlet, we are just fetching that value. Since it's a total different request, so this is the first request which goes to first servlet. First servlet sends a response to client and client sends a new request to the second servlet. So in that second request, there will not be anything called as T1. So to assign that value, we have used session, right? So that's one way. This, so in, in with session, we are able to try, we were able to get that value from the first request to second request because the value was there in the session. In this video, we'll use, we'll try to do the same thing with something, uh, some different, you know, some different option. And the second option we have is instead of using session, we'll be using something called as cookies. Now, what is cookies? So basically, we use cookies for, let's say, if you do online shopping, okay. And when you go for online shopping, you know, you add something on cart. So let's say you, you want to buy a mobile phone and a book. So if you want to buy a mobile phone, you will go to, like example, if I go to my web browser, let me go to Flipkart. Okay. And let me search for a mobile phone here. Okay. Let me go. Okay. So I have a mobile phone here, which is Honor 6. If I click on this phone and if I buy this phone, so as soon as I add this in the cart, so if I say add to cart, you can see it is added in the cart. Now even if I change this page, I'm going for a new request now. I'm going for a request of books. So I will go here and say I want to buy, uh, let's say, comic book. So if I click on this comic book, now you can see this is a totally different page. Okay, different page means different request. And as soon as you, as soon as you, as soon as you lose your request, because this is a new request, right? So data will be gone. So what we will do is, or uh, this, the I want to keep that mobile in the cart. So this cart behave like a cookie now. Okay, so this is a cookie you want to save in your browser. So in order to save your data for this session, either you can use session session or you can use cookies. Okay. So, uh, how to use cookies? So, there is a class called as cookie, which is inbuilt class in uh, HTTP or in the servlet API. So, we'll just, we'll just import the package, we'll say control space, and we can import this package cookie. So, you can see cookie belongs to a package HTTP, which belongs to a servlet. <coughs> okay, now let's create the object of cookie as cookie equal to, we have to say new cookie. Now, whenever you create cookie, you have to pass two parameters. The first parameter will be the label as we have seen in session. So we'll say this label as, uh, what we'll say, let's have uh, T1 itself. So we'll go for T1 and we'll, we'll save the value as str. So my value here is str which is saved in T1. Cool. And then I need to add, I need to add this cookie to response. I will say response dot, so there's a method called as add cookie and then you have to set this cookie okay so now when you send a response to the client in the client browser this cookie will get added so that next time a client sends a request request goes to second second servlet and with that request client will also send the available cookies okay so when you send your cookie from server to client it will be only one or two cookies depending upon how much cookie you want to send but now, when client sends that cookie to the server again, you know uh, how it works basically. So let's say you're traveling in, uh, let's say you know, you're in, in India and if you're going to some rural place, like let's say if, you, if I go to my native, so my native is in Andhra Pradesh. So when I go to my native, I have to travel by bus from one village to second other village. So in that scenario, I have to travel in bus, right? 
Now, uh, so let's say I have a, a hundred rupee note. Okay, I have hundred rupees, and I'm paying hundred rupees to the conductor and saying, okay, I want a ticket for this for this place. Conductor says the ticket is only for forty five rupees, and you are paying, you are giving hundred rupees. So I have to give you. So the conductor will be giving you fifty five rupees, right, as a change. But the problem is, there might be chance that conductor don't have a proper change then. So what he will do, he will ask me to wait after at least for 10 to 15 minutes because it's a long distance, right? So he will ask me to wait for 10 to 15 minutes and once he get the change, he will give it to me. So after 10 minutes or 15 minutes, I will go to him and say, okay, where is my change? The connector will say, oh, I forgot, you know, I don't know who, uh, I don't know how much I was supposed to give you and uh, even if I say you are, you have to give me 55 rupees, how will, it, how will, how will this guy will trust me? Right, because conductors are basically they are stateless. They forgot everything, right? Because they have lots of, uh, you know, what you say, cu customers in the bus. So, what we to do is, when customers at the first instance, he will ask me to wait for fifteen minutes. What he will do is, on my ticket, on on that coupon, he will write, I have to give fifty five rupees to this guy. Next time when I go to that conductor, I have to give that ticket to the conductor and say, okay, you have written fifty five here, and give me the money back. Okay, so at that instance, conductor has given me that coupon or that ticket, which is a cookie. Okay, so when a conductor, imagine this first service of conductor, when conductor gives you a ticket, it will also give you a cookie. That is 55 rupees written on, on the ticket. Next time when you go to the conductor, you have to ask, you know, give, me, give me my change back, you have to show that cookie. So that means you have to send all the cookies. There might be a chance in your bag you'll be having lots of tickets and you don't know which ticket is for that bus. Again, you, you are also dumb, right? Imagine that scenario. In this scenario, client will send all the cookies, not one cookie, he will send all the cookies because client doesn't know which cookie a client a server needs. So what we will do is instead of accepting one cookie, we'll, we'll, we'll say we have multiple cookies, okay? Because we don't know number of cookies. So we have to say cookie, cookies, because it, Will not, will not get one cookie, we'll be getting multiple cookies. And how to get this? So we have the cookies you'll be getting from a request object. So we have to say get cookies. So get cookie will give you all the cookies. Here we are not going for session. So I will delete this line and this one. Okay, I still want to give the value to str. Okay, this is remaining. Now how to get the value of str? So for that, I what I will do is Initially, I will assign str as null because I'm going for a for loop now. While loop or while loop. Okay, let's go for while loop. So we'll say uh, while. Well, we'll use enhance for loop here. While cookie c in cookies. Now, once you got cookie, or we'll say one cookie in cookies. So cookie, cookie in cookies. Okay, well, I'm getting error. Uh, error is variable cookies not defined. Why is not working? Am I using a wrong variable? Everything is perfect. Let me change it to C. Oh, why is not working? Am I missing anything here? Uh, let me write this again. Uh, sometimes while this game is a problem. Okay, so let's again use the while loop. Oh, sorry, uh, uh, why I'm doing? I have to use a for loop, right? We are using enhanced for loop. It's my bad. Okay, so it's cookies. So cookie C in cookies. Okay, now what I will do is I will ask, I will fetch I I will check if my cookie. So we'll say cookie dot get name. If the cookie name is equal to equal to or dot equals. If it's dot equals t1, then only I have to assign the value to str. So we'll say str dot c dot get value. Cool. So what I'm doing, I'm searching from all the cookies, which is my cookie. So every cookie will have a label, and that label is so it for my cookie it will be t1. So I have to fetch I have to fetch t1. I have to assign that the value of that cookie to str and I will print that label here. Simple, right? Now let me run this code just to verify if it is working or not. So I'm running this. Is my browser okay? Since so my this is my first run in the morning, it will take some time to load. 
okay where is that okay so I have got this let me enter my name which is Navin and if I click on OK now so you can see we are getting welcome Navin so we are not using session we are using cookies this time so once again when you send a request to a server it will execute the first servlet we have to you know while you while you call this servlet you have to pass T1 so I am passing my name then that name will is getting added to the cookie with the label T1 and then I'm getting the same response which is stored on my browser. So my browser will send a request again to second servlet. While sending the request, it will send all the available cookies. Okay, since I'm not sending one cookie, I have to send all the cookies. Okay, why I'm using session here. Since I'm sending all the cookies, so it will say request.get cookies. I have to create an array and then I have to search for all the cookies available. I have to match the name and then only also I have to assign the values, right? Okay, so that's it from this video. We have seen how to use cookies. And yeah, so that's from session management and cookies. So do subscribe for the further videos.